So, is it worth learning PHP today? There is a question that some uh, young developers might ask themselves when, uh, like, with the chance of learning PHP, because there is hate, there is misinformation around PHP. A lot of people talk bad things about the language without ever having programmed in that language. Uh, it's just kind of folkloric by now. So I thought of making this video to uh, bring some facts as a developer who's been working with PHP for more than uh, 10, 20 years uh, right now. Um, and I could see in the beginning how it was and how it evolved. So I wanted to uh, make this video and share some facts and make it so that you can uh, decide on your own. Um, so let's start talking about the origins. PHP started in the 90s. It was created by Rasmus Lerdov and it was initially focused to uh, as a way to create dynamic pages, websites with forms and things like that, right? And how it became popular. So this is, there are many reasons why PHP became so popular and it's used in so many pages these days. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is WordPress for many people, for sure, because WordPress really helped democratize uh, web hosting and um, make it more accessible and popular. So a lot of hosting companies started to optimize their offerings to serve small companies and blogs that are using WordPress. So this started to happen uh, around the 2000s something and you would see a rise in cPanel setups, uh, you know, servers with cPanel offerings and things like that. Um, so that was one of the most popular and it is it still is one of the most popular CMSs in the world uh, and it's written in PHP. Um, there are other reasons as well. So I talked a little bit about briefly about accessibility in the terms of being cheap. Uh, and it's, the, the, it's simple to set up, it's a known technology uh, to, to deploy, to set up web servers. So Apache and Nginx are both like uh, very known. And with the LAMP, a common LAMP and LAMP setups, like most sysadmins know how to set up a LAMP or LAMP web server. So it started to be uh, the easiest solution for a lot of folks to have a website, to have a blog or to set up something small and uh, dynamic. Um, the syntax also is something that it's very familiar if you ever programmed in C or in shell script. So that was also one of the reasons why I personally adopt PHP because I was already familiar with shell script and C code. So, and it was also a lot easier than C, of course, because uh, the fact of being an interpreted language and doesn't need, doesn't needing, not needing to, uh, to be compiled and all the memory issues that we have in C, of course, uh, with, um, then the dynamic typing of PHP was also very helpful. I know, uh, of course, today you are able to use strict types, but the fact that it was not typed, it is not typed by default, is a uh, really removes a barrier for many people who are learning to code. So it is a lot easier to code if you don't need to specify the variable types, right? The, the types that will go into your variables. Um, so these were uh, the reasons why I think that made Pop PHP the most, like one of the most used uh, languages on the web today. And in terms of how it evolved over the years, because of course it's a 30 year old language. Um, so how, how this, did, it, did it evolve? Uh, and why it had this kind of bad fame, how it's uh, it established. Uh, well, PHP changed a lot since the 90s. Um, the most recent version is the 8, PHP 8 is out there now. And 
when I started, I started using PHP 3 to 5. It was in, right in the transition from 3 to 5 where I started using it. Um, and, well, there was a lot of changes. In the beginning, there, was, there were issues, of course. With any language, there are issues when it's just beginning. Uh, and many of these were solved, but the fame... Uh, kept on because of bad practices used when developing applications and security issues, MySQL injection. These are the most, like MySQL injection is a really common issue back in the 2000s. And the fact that PHP was cheaper to host and it was more accessible, easier to code on and to have something up up and running quickly uh, also made room for bad practices being propagated and teach uh, like in taught um, like everywhere, you know, like those W3C websites and other sites that have snippets of PHP code and you are learning and you don't know exactly what is the best recommended way and then you just copy and pass. And then this, um, this started to become a problem sometimes around some somewhere around the 2010, I think. So it became more uh, more visible that we needed more um, like guidance. Um, so later on, we, we uh, the project PHP the right way came to really help uh, solidify the practices that are more recommended. Um, anyways, but back to the how why PHP has the bad fate. Uh, and then uh, I cannot, I can not not talk about WordPress uh, because when you talk about PHP anywhere, like on, on Twitter or something, you defend PHP, then there is always someone that comes and and WordPress. What about WordPress? And complaining about practices used by WordPress and mixing PHP with HTML, which is not a, a common practice anymore. But um, there are reasons. WordPress is a legacy in some ways because it has to keep uh, compatibility. Um, changing something that makes WordPress break would be would have like a huge impact on the whole internet. So don't ever underestimate uh, that fact. So um, you cannot uh, confuse the language with the application or the code specific that you see it's a bad code or it's not it doesn't matter it doesn't it's not a qualifier for the programming language so you cannot talk bad about php because there is one or two or a or b application that is making bad use of the language or because there are people creating botnets and other things in php so you cannot say that the, the the it's not php to blame it's people to blame so developers or the choices and things like that so yeah uh that is that is what i had to say about the the bad fame about php and it doesn't make sense to say that PHP is dead, like some people say, um, because PHP is a very active uh, community, has a very active community, and like PHP 8 came just at the end of 2020. Um, so we have RFCs, we have people from the community contributing new features and the language is evolving a lot. In the last 10 years, PHP evolved so much and I was able to see the change from 5 to 7 and then to 8 now. Uh, so it's very um, dynamic, uh, it's changing, it's evolving with time, it's not... Uh, in the past, you know, like has some people imagine that? I don't know where, how, how, or why they imagine that. I think it's just uh, at this point, it's more like a um, you know a meme or a story that you repeat without knowing anything about it. So don't be discouraged if people uh, talk bad things about PHP or kind of shame you for learning PHP or for doing things in PHP, that is absolutely awful. Um, and that is uh, there is no excuse for that. So if anyone comes talking bad things about PHP, 
You can say that they need to get more uh, updated information. They need to educate themselves. All languages are beautiful and um, all language, there is no perfect language. All languages are beautiful. And if they are uh, annoying you too much, they send them my way that I will <laughs> show them some facts. So anyways, thanks for watching this video and like if you like it or you know subscribe if you want to and i hope to see you again bye <laughs>